Hi, I'm back this week with a bit of a sore throat, so I'm going to try and keep it quick today. Um, I have been to um, the Creative Festival, which is the new name for Creative Stitches, um, which is a quite a small kind of sewing and scrapbooking show, um, which is held, thankfully, about eight kilometres from my house. So um, yesterday I taught a class on, well, it was like a one-hour taster session, really, on English paper piecing. And that went reasonably well, I think. Um, so that was to introduce the fact that I'll still be doing those classes um, into the winter. They also, at the same show, released the class list. Um, so you don't have to wait till next weekend to know when the classes are on. I've just taken my samples in this weekend so that they've got them to put on display for next weekend. Um, but I can confirm some of my teaching dates. So English paper piecing will be October the 14th in the afternoon, 1 till 4, or December the 3rd, 2 till 5. So I'm going to assume that that's a Saturday and a Sunday or something like that, because normally I would do 6 till 9 uh, slots. Uh, we're, we're doing the Quilt as You Go Venti Tote again. I've got October 2nd and 16th, or January 4th and 11th, and that's 6 till 9. We've also got the new class Somerset Patchwork with Prairie Points, um, which I think I showed you in an earlier um, blog. And that will be either November 7th or January 15th, 6 till 9. Um, I'm not quite sure how well you can see this, but this is the class here. So it's to make this kind of folded um, Prairie Point um, medallion piece, which we then put a... Um, a frame around so that you can use it as a cushion or anything else you can think of. You could even make a quilt out of them if you wanted but each block is about two and a half uh, meters of fabric so you probably don't want to do that. Um, but it's possible you could do that. Blanche Farrell bag is happening again. So that was this bag. That one will be running November 6th and 13th or January 30th and February 6th, 6 till 9 because that's a two session class. And there's, what should be one more? Oh, sliding box. So that was um, that box that I made with the Tula Pink um, Holiday Homies fabric on the outside. Um, I'm doing that as a mainly as a Christmas kind of class, so I'm not running it after Christmas. It's going to be October 21st, 10 till 1, so again that'll be a weekend at some point, or December 14th, 6 till 9. And in case you couldn't see that, I'll bring you the picture over again. So it's this guy here. Is that focused? There we go. And that's from a book called Stitch Sewing Organisers, so you will need to grab that book if you want to do the class. I bought fabric. I bought fabric this week. Um, one of the fabrics I bought is already cut up behind me. It's going to be sash uh, binding for my um, banana candy quilt. I'll show you that in just a couple of minutes. So I bought that, and on the same shopping trip, that wasn't actually what I went to buy. I went to buy Peltex because I'm going to make one of those boxes for Alex's birthday present. Which so I've literally got the rest of today, and it's nearly five o'clock today, and tomorrow to make that, and I'm at work tomorrow, so that will be fun. Um, so I was going to make it with this dinosaur fabric, and just black solid, that's what I went to buy, and the Peltex to make it. And really I'm going to have to get on with that in just a little bit. Um, and then while I was in the shop, I was at um, Sewing Sensation. I saw this, and the lighting in there is really quite bad, so I actually bought this thinking it was orange and blue, and I got out of the shop and it was red and blue, because I thought it would make a nice bag, but I still, I still think it will, but it's not quite what I expected it to be, so it's just a, a chevron. I also got this fabric with bears on, even though I don't need bears anymore. I thought that was quite fun, so I got half a metre of that, so I thought maybe, yeah, maybe it could make a nice bag or something. I also got some cotton steel prints. I got the rotary dial telephones. Again, these ones are half yards. Half, half meters? Half meters. I got roller skates. And I got raccoons. Again, I thought bags with those. And then I went, when I went at uh, my sewing room earlier in the week, and I was thinking about that um, plan from my last week's video for QuiltCon. I bought the background fabric, so I'm going to go for this bright blue, and then I'm going to put oranges in there. I'm actually thinking I'm going to make it square now. I mentioned last week that I was going to make it kind of this tapered shape, but I'm worried that it won't hang very well. So I picked up a fat quarter of just one of the orange solids as well, because I know I've got a few on my shelf. 
So we'll go for this kind of contrast on there. So I'll be thinking about doing that within the next sort of few days. So at the show yesterday, I also picked up this. This is just a freebie that I got from a lady when I was at a class the other day. Um, at the show, I went to a um, booth called A Threaded Needle, and they're based in BC. They specialise in sashiko and also in linen fabrics. And I thought, hey, you know what? That will make a really nice bag. Maybe I won't have to interface it. Um, they're not cheap. They're about $24, $25 a metre, depending on which ones you choose. Um, but I did buy um, this metre here. I'm just checking it wasn't yards. Again, I was thinking bags. Nice kind of big print. You probably don't want to put it up too small for patchwork. And with it being linen, it seems like a bit of a waste to not use it for a bag or some kind of home furnishing project. And I picked this one up for my friend because I have the green version, she was looking at it the other week on my shelf when she was here and they didn't have the green one so I've just picked up a quarter metre for her um, so if you're interested in knowing a bit more about this company and seeing what they have on offer, they've got some cute kits and things too if you go to um, athreadedneedle.com, I've not been paid or sponsored or anything I just really like their shops, if you want to check them out, that's the place to go oh, and I also bought a squeeze pass frame from them and it's got little um, instructions in there so I'm looking forward to giving that a go too Finishes. I have finished the Bear in the Book Log Cabin Quilt. I'm going to stand on my chair so you can see it all. Ish. If you want to know a bit more about this, if you go to my blog, there is a complete post on this, giving you the size. It gives you the type of fabrics that I've used and a little bit more information on the making process. So that is my quilt there. And then the back is a flannel. Just a bear print again. And it's bound with a stripe, because I like to bind in stripes if I have visible binding. So that's this week's finish, and that is on the blog for more information. Just a short interlude, um, just to remind you that if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you uh, and you're within the first 200 subscribers, I think we're at 55 now, you will be entered in a random draw to win either, your choice, you can choose what you want. Um, these charm packs, so there's bumbleberries, there's two of those and there's bread and butter or if you don't want those you can choose the Elle's Modern um, Jelly Roll which is just these cool blenders which is nice or if that doesn't take your fancy I have a layer cake here it's Sun Drops by Cory Yoda this is it here I bought all, all of these I think at the show at uh, the Creative Stitches show last year so they're about a year old they might be a little bit harder to get now and it's got kind of more of a Bonnie and Camille kind of feel to it. So you can choose which one of those you would have as a prize if you're drawn at random. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to be in with your chance of winning. It's good good odds as well, 1 in 200. Um, because I haven't been to my guild for probably three months, maybe even longer than that, um, I've volunteered to do one of the larger pieces on our charity quilt, which is also a quilt con group uh, guild entry. Um, and I've got these, this pack of fabric, I have to make an improv 30 inch Dresden plate so I, I'm going to have to be careful on size since it's improv and you can kind of make it what you want I'll also have to look, re look at my ruler because um, I think I've only got a short ruler so I may have to get a bigger one or make my own template probably make my own template because I am cheap um, so there's a few scraps of pink in there um, there's like this lip fabric there's some more of this yellow, and this is going to be my main colour. So um, I do have more of this on the way, so I think this is just a fat quarter and it probably isn't going to go too far. And then there's some white, which is kind of our background-ish colour. We're going for low volumes and whites, so I'm not going to use a lot of that one, if I can help it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I've been researching um, improv Dresden, Dresden blocks and sort of modern Dresden blocks and seeing what other people have done to try and get some inspiration. So if you have any ideas on that, please let me know in the comments and you might save me um, some stress <laughs> while I try and figure out what I'm going to do. Alright, let's go on a little tour around the room. Um, this is what I've got on my machine right now. All of the banana candy pieces are all cu cut and stuck down, or at least fused down, but they're not um, stitched in place necessarily. I've started with the yellow, so I've stitched maybe six of them down. The backing is this multicoloured print here, so it's quite um, outgoing. 
my husband was worried that there'd be too much going on on the back and it would clash with the front. My argument is, how often do you see the back at the same time as the front? So um, I'm currently quilting them down with uh, kind of like an echo quilt on the inside. It kind of looks more like a banana, which isn't quite what I was expecting, but actually it works with the name, so I'm quite happy to keep going with that. So I've got picked up a couple more threads and I think I've got everything I need to keep going, but I am going to have to take that off the machine so I can get this box made. So that's what's on my machine right now. And on the floor, we were just doing this just now, we are just deciding what fabrics to recover this um, bench with. It's kind of this brownie colour, it sits at our front door right now and we plan to use it in the winter to change our boots and things when we've been walking the dog. So we uh, have this picture above the door which is of um, like a prairie, simple prairie painting. Um, i trying to remember the name of the artist. It's Jason something. Oh, Jason Carter. So Jason Carter um, painted this image and it's got like a little red grain, um, grain elevator on there but I've decided that adding red in here is probably a bit much but it's got the blue sky and it's got these um, wheat fields um, or actually it might be canola fields um, underneath and it's really bright um, colours like bright yellow like true yellow and sort of true cyan as well so this is to go underneath um, so Alex has just been picking out colours I'm not quite sure he's picked out enough there so I might have to supplement it a little bit but that's the plan so I'm going to break, take the legs off there and get going on that too Thanks for joining me. Um, hopefully next week I might have a banana candy quilt to show you. I'm not making any promises but I do need to get that off to the UK to kind of land middle of October and we've only got one more week of September left so I will have to be cracking on with that. I'm not teaching anything next week so I do have a bit of time in the evenings. Don't think I've got anything on my calendar that I need to be going... No, that's a lie. <laughs> Tuesday is Alex's birthday so we'll probably go out for that. Thursday um, is our wedding anniversary and we've planned to go to see the Harlem Globetrotters and I've got tickets for that. So that is a lie. We are out of um, the house for two evenings next week at least. Hopefully I will have more on that. I'm not going to promise that I'll finish it but maybe I'll have quilted it by then. Who knows? Um, so I'll join you next week I guess and um, I will have to post a tutorial on reupholstering furniture soon. I've kind of written the draft post so I just need to get on and publish that so keep your eye out for that this week. I did a little extra video as well which was about quilting wood grain effect. Um, it cut off a little bit sooner than I would have liked it to because I um, thought I was zooming in on the camera and turns out it was kind of zooming in just below the needle and you couldn't figure out what was going on so I had to chop off a big lump of the video. But um, it's about two or three minutes long if you want to kind of look at how I did the wood grain quilting on the bear and the log cabin quilt. Um, other than that, I think that's it for this week for me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be in with winning a prize, and I'll see you next week.